we were prepared to play a good football team. And I told the guys, you know, uh, Tech Southern been in every football game they played in. So uh, just a matter of time, them having a, having a good game. But I just guess us, uh, you know, losing 44 to 44 team. Uh, what they just like to look at. So uh, we didn't do a lot of good things in the offense. We turned the ball over. They kept laughing every, every play, they, every turn over they had. They did some real good stuff on offense. Uh, our first rushing ball and the big plays came in and, and we couldn't stop them. So uh, once the process started running, we just couldn't stop it. So uh, it was a great job. Uh, Coach McKenzie did a great job with this program. I'm getting prepared for this, this game today. Um, but they did their defense play well. Uh, gave us some looks that, that we didn't really, really prepare for. Um, uh, just did a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. Uh, we didn't do a lot of good things to, to, to capitalize on the things that we should have. We open the floor for questions. Coach McNair, we talked early Monday about going into these types of games and closing out the season. Um, you talked about preparing this week. You, did you see anything in preparation for the game that may have gave you pause? Or as you alluded to, the game plan that uh, Texas Southern put out was a little different than what you prepared for? Yeah, he's coming into it. I thought we prepared for some of the things they were going to do to us, uh, offense and defense, you know. But I think they threw a couple more wrinkles in it than, that we didn't prepare for, you know. With the with reverse pass for a touchdown, you know. Uh, then they had a couple of big plays and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, that comes in. Uh, Come with coaching, you know. So I uh, thought we did some good stuff. Did some good stuff offensively. Uh, defense at time, we made some stops in the second second half of it. But um, I thought we was prepared to play a, a good football team. And uh, this is a game that I thought that they, they came out and, and did some good stuff against us and uh, and they won this football game. Credit those guys on that side of on that side of the field for uh, the things they did so well. And they scored a lot of points. I apologize to Mr. Dr. Bills Inside the HBC Sports Lab. Yes, sir. Uh, Charles Bishop, Dr. Bills Inside the HBC Sports Lab. Coach, uh, last week, big sort of emotional rivalry game against Southern. Do you think uh, that might have uh, played a part in coming in, coming in today's game play? No, okay, well, we can prepare, you know, just like any other. You know, we prepare for Southern and uh, had a great game against Southern and prepare for Texas Southern the same way. You know, we, we always prepare to uh, play a good football team. Which you know, in any, any given day, you know, in this conference, you know, each butt beat uh, like we did tonight uh, in terms of what we could have done and what we should have done. But you know, that's how we win this little credit those guys on that side over there, those coaches over there for having a good game plan together. You know, I think they did a great job at HQ um, in terms of what they're supposed to do. Coach, were you surprised that your guys started to lose composure with the personal fouls? You know, I, I thought I thought it would be, every game we played is a chipping game, uh, but I think the guys were just just pressing themselves, uh, trying to make something happen, and then you can't get out of character. That's a, that's the biggest thing. Uh, quarterback had a personal foul. That's not his, that's not his game. You know, you, you make a bad play, you live it, and move on. Uh, but you don't come over and brush against another player like that. We don't teach that at all. Uh, that's not that's not the thing that we do. I think some of the guys was out of character uh, in terms of what they should be. But the, but the one that got ejected um, um, was that number 46? 46, yeah. But they called a penalty on the play, was the whistle didn't blow. Uh, the play was still alive. So you throw a flag for a penalty, and it didn't. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't the ball was dead. And I asked the referee on the same thing. You know, um, their guy picked the ball up any time, and I knew he'd do it on a punt. And that's what he did. But you know, you're talking about blowing it dead. Going dead, you know, but it wasn't going dead, so I got to continue to play. What was your message to your team after the loss to Texas Southern? One of the big things is, I mean, we played a good football team. I mean, give, give them credit. Uh, but, you know, we just can't let that one loss turn into two. You know, we got to continue to play. We got a good team coming up next week in Jackson State. Uh, it'll be a short week. We'll travel back in the morning, a day off tomorrow, and then Tuesday we get back at it. You know, uh, it's just a short week. Prepare for a good football team. So, uh, got a tough task ahead of us. Uh, I think the guys and coaches up to it uh, to make it, make it all work out to where we can come and try to win a good football team. I have one follow up question. Dr. Mills inside the HBCU Sports Lab. Just in terms of the game, obviously the first half is what it is, and you try to make a comeback in the second half, but you come out and it's raining. 
how much of a challenge does that make in trying to make up the point differential in a game like this when you fall back that far behind? You know, they can tell the ball, of course. You know, they, I thought they did a great job of stopping us on the run game. Um, I mean, coming out of the second half, it was raining and, and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of tough on the floor back there. When we had three plays in the goal line down there. Uh, I think the ball kind of got away from him all three times. Hey, wide open receivers there, so um, I chose to kick a field goal, you know, just to put some more points on the board. Uh, but you know, it, it's always tough to, to to throw the ball when, when the weather is like that, when it's raining. But you know, you find a way uh, to, to establish some offense, and I thought we did a pretty decent job and continue to throw the ball a little bit. So uh, all in all, you know, just a just a they played a heck of a game. Heck of a game.